So another Phantom Pain trailer was released in E3. And we were given this awesome trailer with an awesome song. It's amazing. I mean, it was leaked earlier that day and I may have watched it about six times before um, E3 showed it, but that's not important. Whether you are, you know, a Metal Gear fangirl slash boy like me, or, you know, you don't give a shit about Metal Gear Solid, you can't deny that they got all these sticker thingies and awards and I don't really know what they are, but they were awarded. Basically, the trailer was the shit. Okay, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. I thought I'd talk about it anyway and, you know, we can talk about what we saw and we can discuss about it in the comments after, so let's do this. Keep doing this with my hands. So we start with Hideo Kojima's tweets and if you don't follow Hideo Kojima I very much recommend that you do because otherwise you wouldn't know all this stuff that I'm about to say. Let's start off with Diamond Dogs. Um, at the end of the last trailer that we got it says the words V has come to and um, yeah we didn't know what that meant. I didn't know what that meant. I was trying to figure out what it was and Hideo has recently put on his Twitter V stands for Venom. I call him V Snake. That's what the tweet said. <laughs> so pretty much he's called Venom Snake in this game, which is pretty cool. It's not like, you know, you know, Venom from Spider-Man, but you know, Venom from a snake. Good. So pretty much that must mean V has come to, you know, Venom has woken. Like he's come to, like he is awake. That must be what that means, right? Right? Which must, you know, signify that he's woken up from his coma. They also post near the end of the trailer that we just saw, Venom Awakens, which just further proves my point, really. And that must be why five is in Roman numerals. Wait, are the others? They aren't! So yeah, V must stand for Venom. Also, Hideo tweeted someone I can't remember. Torture depicted in Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain sets the stage for revenge. And the picture that they shown in the tweet is when Ocelot and some other guy are interrogating Huey, er Huey Emmerich. And now that we're done on that, did anyone know that that was Kaz? Did anybody know this? I didn't. Kaz's voice comes out, he's missing two out of four or five limbs, and it's Kaz. Seriously, I, I thought he was a new character, or, you know, that he was Roy Campbell, like a younger version of Roy Campbell, but... Well, yeah, Phantom Pain is going to revolve around revenge. So, we'll see our beloved Naked Snake turn into the, the big boss that we know from Metal Gear NES slash Sean Connery. And I'll be honest, I kind of prefer a big boss to Solid Snake. Don't hate me. It just seemed more human to me. I'm sorry. The last tweet I'll show from Hideo Freakin Kojima. There's a horn on V Snake, but in fact he also has a tail. Instead of a physical tail, the belt looks like the tail. Oh. Also, I should probably get this out of the way. I really didn't like the fact that Kiefer Sutherland was going to be voicing Big Boss. Even if he was quite hot in The Lost Boys. I was a hater. A true hater. But I've gotta be completely honest with you, his voice in the Phantom Pain trailer is just booming. Booming, fuck me, I'm so white. Basically this trailer proved me wrong. Like the last playing Ground Zeroes and the other trailers, I just thought like, ugh, I don't I don't really like this voice. It just doesn't sound right to me. But maybe I've got used to it. Maybe it was that trailer that it was really his voice just sounded really cool in my opinion. And I'm finding it hard to now think David Hater being that big boss because he's so he has such a matured voice who's that driving in here yeah i think he's a pretty good big boss as far as casting could have gone so yeah hideo was right again why must he always be right so let's talk more about the trailer um i'm not really going to go into realism and symbolism and every single little detail because otherwise this video is going to be about three hours long and i don't really have the time or i just can't bother to do it so the first thing that really pops out to me is the fact that Ocelot's on our side. I mean, he kind of was, but he wasn't, and I don't know. He, it, he really varies what side he's on, you never really trust Ocelot. But he seems to be training troops from the look of it, and one guy I'm told is doing the shoot and hip action, and he hasn't got a revolver, and blah blah blah. Yeah, that stuff poked out at me. 
liquid, <coughs> I mean Eli, is somehow overpowering Snake with a wooden chair. And about his jacket, if you pause you can see that it says never be game over and I'm also told that one of the, the kanjis, I don't know if it's Japanese or Chinese or I don't know any of that stuff, but apparently one of them is like liquid, it says something like we're the liquid people, I, I can't really remember. Um, and there's also a piggy with an eye patch on his eye. I don't know if that's like a middle finger to middle finger to snake or what, but that's what we see. And apparently you can anagram never be game over to loads of different words like genome, November, Eva, all sorts of stuff. But um, if you want to go any more into that, I'm afraid you're going to have to figure it out yourself because I don't really want to know what it is straight away. I'd rather find out in the gameplay if that means anything rather than just shooting in the dark. Also, Quiet gets her head dunked and her fringe stays in place. What sorcery is this? Like, my fringe moves all the time. And hers fucking stays in place. Calling bullshit on that. Good fox engine. But really, I've had a lot of people tell me, hey, did you hear apparently quiet as Chico and all that shit? Eh. I don't know why people are trying to spoil, like, huge spoilers. Like, if that was a huge plot twist in the end, I'm going to be really annoyed because I don't want to figure out stuff like that. It's fine guessing, but n no. <laughs> I have my reasons. It sounds weird. I just... I would rather have not known that that might be Chico because I I really like the thing of going oh my god while you're playing the game rather than just reading on a form oh apparently it's Chico it's just no build up and boring I mean next you'll be saying that it's just all a dream that Snake Snake's just dreaming everything I guess that's all I can think oh my god is that Metal Gear Rex seriously is it I can't tell some people are also saying because we got in a car with Skullface that he might be an ally but. That doesn't really mean anything, getting in a car with someone, but me. And he's also wearing a mask there, and I don't really know why, because he hasn't got a face to hide, but there you go. But he had that mask on in that trailer, Red Band trailer, on the last trailer, he had that mask on there anyway, so, so um, that's nothing new really. But the last thing I will say is that it's coming in 1984! But really, this is something I want to figure out. Is it like a code or something? Even in interviews, when people ask him when's it coming out, he's saying 1984! Because he's a little cutie. But yeah, he could be just trolling us, couldn't he? It, is it too early to say a release date? Is it not? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this Phantom Pain trailer analysis video. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Think if you think I'm wrong, tell me. If you think I'm a bitch, tell me it's fine. We'll all get a we'll all get through it. And yeah, I like the discussion. I'd preferably like it to be about Metal Gear if you do comment. <laughs> um Yeah, I'll try and do more videos like this, but it depends if I can be bothered. I also forgot to mention that I reached 800 subscribers today and that was really cool so thank you guys for subscribing and you know watching me the fact that people can even hear me like listen to me talk for like five minutes is quite cool hope you have a good day and thank you for watching guys i'll see you soon bye got to wear my top for a bloody metal gear video no, i'm not filming it again <laughs>